Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Tide Time with Ryan. He is Ryan. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to season two of Tie Time with Ryan. I'm Ryan. Tie Nation, I gotta tell you, I'm super excited to get started with season two, but before we do that, the first order business is to upgrade the studio. Much better. So Tie Nation, as you'll note, I'm not in the traditional Tie Time garb as of yet. One of the biggest requests that I got throughout season one was, hey Ryan, we really enjoy your videos, they're awesome, but could you teach us how to do those knots? Could you do an instructional video on how to tie those ties? So I can think of no better way to start off season two than with an instructional video on how to tie a tie. Step one, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a fancy shirt. Nope, that's not right. Huh, must be a little rusty. Gotta shake out the old cobwebs. All right, here we go. Nope. No. Nope. 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 Nope, that's a dingo. Nope. That's worse. Nope. 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 What is happening? Whew. Step two, find yourself a classy tie. Step three A. Go ahead and flip that collar up. Step 3B, take that tie, put it around your neck. Step four, tie a half Windsor. Step five, put that collar back down. Step six, tighten the knot. Step seven, there is no step seven. You're good to go. And there you have it, Tie Nation, the perfect half Windsor. You're welcome. Ranking time. So where does the half Windsor knot stack up on our list? So as we roll into season two here, we're gonna continue the list that we started in season one. You might be asking yourself, Tie Nation, Ryan, why the half Windsor knot? That is the most basic of all knots, with the exception of the four in hand. The half Windsor knot is one of the most quintessentially basic tie knots. I thought tie time was all about the fanciest of knots, the illest, the dopest, the freshest, the newest of knots that you can only wear on the fanciest of occasions. Well, you know what? That doesn't preclude us from paying homage to one of the original knots. The half Windsor knot is a staple in any tie wearer's repertoire, and I have to say, of all knots out there, it's probably the one that I use the most. It's classic, it's simple, it looks nice, it's symmetrical, and you all know, Tie Nation, that I'm a huge fan of symmetrical knots, so of course the half Windsor knot deserves a spot on our list, but the only question is, does it fall in the top 10? In Tie Nation, after much deliberation, the half Windsor knot's gonna slide in right into the number eight spot, taking the Virginia knot completely off the list, because you know what? F that knot. It owes me money. And that's all the time we have today on Tie Time. Thanks for stopping in. You stay classy. And also a big thank you to the wonderful, beautiful, and talented Katie Jones Powell. Give her a virtual round of applause. Well done with the intro today, Katie. You're amazing. So Tie Nation, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of season two. If you did, go ahead and give that like button a little taparoo. And if you want to catch all the episodes this season, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. I always appreciate any thoughts and comments you have on the episode. Go ahead and leave all that in the comment section below. Thanks for stopping in. You stay classy. All right, do it <laughs> Are you staying back there? Yeah. Oh my god. More excited than that? Yeah. Speak faster. <laughs> no one's ever told me to do that before. Instruction already. Just, just keep going. Do you like any of them? I don't know. Probably not. Do you want to see what they look like? Sure. <laughs>